Yes, finally, finally, finally! Though, of course, we're back with another pretty quick Dragon Ball video. So, yeah, recording's pretty late at night, so of course, I'm tired and stuff like that, of course, though. But yeah, any chance I get to record, I will. I'm, again, super tired, super sleepy. Um, but, yeah, um, you can definitely tell I am. I just throw on this Dragon Ball shirt. Um, literally got no socks on, got pants on, of course, but yeah, whatever. Again, I just literally woke up, kind of just ready to do this though. So yeah, we did get the new info, of course, my new Doug Vest coming for JP. It is a Super Saiyan Trunks from the Mega Freezer Saga, which was kind of obvious coming. I really want to say it was really obvious because of the future celebration and stuff, but I just thought, okay, Trunks is just going to get easy. It was another V jump. It's about like that, of course, though, but yeah, it's just confirmed he was just coming anyway, though, so. Kind of crazy, it did make a lot of sense. They made it in my video title. I was like, yeah, now it makes kind of a lot of sense. And it really kind of does. Like, all the stuff that's coming literally for Trunks and stuff like that, it really makes sense, though. That's crazy. I never thought of that, though. So, um, yeah. Of course, like I said, we got, um, of course, Trunks stuff. I haven't done it. I'm fixing my face cam. It's way too late for all this stuff. So, yeah. Um, again, I literally woke up, like, at, I think, like, what, 2.30? 2 o'clock? 2.30 a.m.? I was like, okay, I'm gonna go back to sleep for a little while. Woke up, saw his info. I was like, okay, I didn't even brush my hair. Like, I literally was gonna pick up my hair, redo it, and everything. But I was like, yeah, whatever. I'll just go ahead and do the video like this. Of course, though. So, we probably, pre probably gonna be pretty quick and simple. Again, I'm, like, half asleep right now. I am so sleepy, so. Um, sorry about going, like, you know, my words are super bummed out and everything. But yeah, we are getting a new Trunks, of course. It's really good, though. Again, I'm really glad this Trunks is coming. I know Truth has been waiting for this Trunks forever. Kind of me, too. I've been, ever since the LR came out, I was like, I want to Dragon Fist as this guy. Dragon Fist LR, regular LR. Yeah, and a lot of easy A's could be coming, potentially. Like, I know a lot of people are thinking, take Vegeta Blue, STR Rose. If they aren't going to do it now, they might not do it. They might do it later, though. Uh, they have a lot of chance to do it, like, I don't know, the next LR, take Vegeta Blue and STR Rose, or Transforming LR Rose, or, you know, Goku, another Goku. Vegeta that goes into Vegeta, which I don't think we have in the game. A, a Vegeta Blue one specifically. Because I know, oh yeah, Anniversary. A lot of people are thinking that for Anniversary. Probably next year, seven year, you know, Goku and Vegeta go into Blue Gogeta, Blue Vegeta. They can, and that also makes sense as well. I know Truth did call that as well. Again, Truth calls a lot of things, so. Yeah, the Rat King, the Bum of Central. So, of course, Bum Central, Bum City, they, but yeah. Um, again, like, like Physical Future Gohan, I was, I was kind of thinking, um, like, for Easy A. Or maybe like into Rose could probably get one. Again, this whole future celebration definitely does make sense. Again, I'm like going way off the board and all this stuff like that. And also I'm trying to think. I think I was kinda of gonna think LR Goku Black and Zamasu. Also last year this was um I don't know what to say it's right. And a lot of people go like, oh is that gonna be LR Goku Black and Zamasu? I kinda of get it because we just have LR I know we just got LR campaign that gotta do those probably every couple of months. Not that specifically, but for LR EZA and stuff like that. Some more one specifically, like every two, three months like for a celebration. You can definitely tell the difference as well though, because again, like I said, every month or every Every other month they do kind of change it and switch it up though of course but again they switch it up change it up typical typical stuff though of course but also i was actually i was kind of like i just scrolling this a little bit um i also was kind of thinking though as well like um i just had it in my head oh, oh yeah this was um like a lot of people go like oh yeah dragon ball heroes is coming up like yeah again out the teaser stuff like that for global again last year i think on the 29th I did mention, like, we got, like, that's when we got the info, 14th, that's when we got the Doki Now stuff, 17th, that's when we got the info, I think, I think, our campaign celebration, Doki Now, and stuff like that. Again, that's gonna be, like, near the end of the month, though, like, middle, you know, 17th, the end of the month, and after that, like, I think on Thanksgiving, I know last year, Bojack was the time slot last year, and I also want to say, like, this was in Kojia's time slot last year, though, I know Global's didn't get the Tech Gogeta as well, though, so yeah, kind of switching up this year. Um, yeah, because last year, we got Gogeta for JP, this year we got for Global. Again, that is coming way earlier, because I don't know what they can do for Thanksgiving celebration the other christmas is, is gonna be like the you know the banner that we always get every year anyway like regardless we always get that like the old the banner like we get every single year and stuff like that uh for tanabata you know the you know, tanabata banner last couple years i think it was like since like what 2019 we had the go 10 trunks one to present for us and that was my that was year four year five last year was uh, uh, yeah last year was um the Physical, I think, Kaku Blue Goku, Physical, Kaku Blue Goku, Evolution Blue Vegeta Banner, so yeah. Every year they always put that banner for Christmas, or we could get like a new LR or something. Yeah, I feel like it's lining up just right, because last year, we, get, we did get the Bojack movie Gohan. For JP, it made way sense. For Global, we kind of got out of nowhere. And I still love the LR, some of my favorites, though, so yeah. Of course, like I said, though, we do have a new, of course, EZA area units coming up. We have, a, it was just announced for these guys are getting the EZA area. Um, of course, these guys are getting EZAs, which made sense, of course. We already knew that was coming for the Power Trunks event. 
Uh, of course, LR Solo. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get his easy A. He does not need to have his easy A. I know Goku and Frieza did, but he technically doesn't have to have it. Again, they push LR every time, no matter what. Even if Goku and Frieza didn't have their easy A's, they probably would still put it on there because they always put an LR on there. Tech Tail's probably gonna be the king because he, again, he's so good. Like, additional attack, you can probably second him up with that. He'll heal a lot. Really good. Again, it was like a, t that was like a type of disadvantage unit, which will kind of hurt these guys because they're STR, they're STR, and she's STR. So that's really kind of hurting them though, but we do have like a good two good tech units though, so. And these easy events are usually kind of difficult. I know Frieza's was really difficult. Goku's wasn't that bad, but again, you could still die in that day. Again, nobody's perfect. It, they don't want to do tend to burn through it like one day, even though you kind of can, but again, it, it takes time and stuff like that. Plus again, you have infinite time to do these, like no matter what though. But um, yeah. Again, I kind of get like, you know, if you have like all the easy and stuff like that. I think he has like a... I think he has a Wigan though. I don't think he has a UK. He might. Again, it's been a couple years since I went over him. These guys as well though, of course though. But yeah, again, like I said, very little stuff like that, of course, so like I said, coming. But yeah, again, I'm about to make like a short or like, you know, a timing or whatever I'll do. Whatever, again, like I said. Like they'll all come out for a new again, you already know you guys already know what we do guys when they come out. Everything of course though. So yeah, really simple, really easy stuff for Kurt like, Of course, like I said though. Um but yeah, um really simple stuff, really easy stuff, of course, like I said. Um what else do we have here? I think this is the Teco. Yeah, the Teco did, of course, um, go take some of that. Of course, we got tickets for them coming up for Global. Um, the new trunks. So th I mean, this is probably like how the trucks are going to build. I assume I dubbed this up. Yeah, um, this is probably how the trucks are going to be built and stuff like that, of course, just because it's in the categories and stuff like that. I just want to kind of mention this because I know a lot of people might probably put this in their videos. Um, like the links and stuff like that are probably, probably going to be the same. I might change it up a little bit. They're going to definitely put first battle in there, though. Um, I think in probably like a Mecha Freezer would probably come with friends too, because again, we could get a side unit banner. I think a Mecha Freezer could come, just because, you know, that's the only person you really fought, though. Again, even back in town, but just from Goku about the androids. But yeah, again, like this truck definitely does deserve a Doku Vest, though. Again, a lot of people want it for a long time, including myself. I agree. I definitely agree this guy deserves it. The moment when he came back, just random kid that came out of nowhere, he's just a Super Saiyan from the future. He's like Vegeta and Boma's like son. Like that's shocking all this guy. I was like, Vegeta has I was like, wait, Vegeta has a kid? That's insane. And like it's Boma and like Vegeta's kid. Like holy crap. Like, you can try to see it in the face and stuff like that. It's just blows your mind. Like this mysterious guy that just literally comes out of nowhere. Like it's crazy. He just literally comes out of nowhere, slashes up Frieza and everything of course though. So it definitely does make sense. But yeah, again, like I said, I think the category is going to be really good. Again, it's going to help a lot. Like Super Saiyan's Andrews, I still saw it, which really needs it. Vegeta Family, Bond and Match and Cycle. Uh, Vegeta Family, it's not that bad, but it can also use some help. Future Saga, but can use some more on there. Hyper Saiyan's, maybe, uh, Save Yours, definitely, yeah. Hyper Saiyan's isn't that bad, though, but I feel like you can help, maybe. Like, all the categories and stuff like that, they actually need to help Trunk Fubu um, deliver and, you know, give us full support and stuff like that, of course, though. Um, but yeah, like I said, a lot of EZA's potentials can be coming again. I pretty much said everything, like I said. Uh, this guy, these guys could probably get an EZA, maybe. I was just kind of thinking it in the wrong possibilities. If they don't do it now, they probably won't ever do it ever. Probably, maybe, yes. A lot of people are thinking that. Maybe this Trunks could, but he might be like a more side unit banner. Yeah, because I think he came out with, um, the Transforming Trunks. The Int one. They'll probably get EZA later down the road. Um, he'll probably get an EZA, maybe, but I doubt it. Um, Again, they had to be like 120 and stuff like that. Um, yeah, like I said, that one as well. Again, just throwing out kind of easy days and stuff like that. The thing right here is mainly just like, you know, the new global stuff coming up. I did do a show on this. I will upload that probably before this, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I probably actually will upload that short before this. Though. But yeah, of course, we got the new um, Android, you know, hatching, um, Unit 8 or in 17 coming and stuff like that. Of course, even though it's already pretty much on global confirmed and stuff like that. I could go probably over them really quick because I actually, actually I think I'm going to the Halloween celebration. Uh, Halloween celebration on JP, though, because of course, global's going to get it. Again, like this year, you know, very, very disappointed about that. Log of bonus special missions and like every easy A pretty much. Oh, he'll use the art for um, the Spurbon Goku. Um, then yeah, that's just literally the event and like every easy A basically. Oh, uh, Trunks is easy A info again. Very simple, very really easy, nothing crazy or whatever though. So, yeah, again, campaign info for Trunks and stuff like that. Um, again, like I said, when it comes out, I'll make a whole video for that and everything, of course. But again, those are all our campaign videos are pretty short. Though. So, of course, on time, um, hatching, of course, I'm um, Android 17, according to the book from the Blue Arc, you know, the what, uh, what if, you know, card and stuff like that for Doken. Again, last year it was going for Gohan Pan. They did get their EZA pretty early, I think like in April, I think Truth mentioned that. Um, these guys could probably get their EZA maybe around the same time slot, maybe, because again, you know, they're a Halloween event unit, they might add like EZA or EZA for Cold first or whatever, but whatever. So, they do Android category key three, everything got, everything got 50%. The Super Attack. Um, it does, oh, okay, so uh, that, um, double mission, eight, 8 plus 17, I can't like that, though. Um, plus 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Plus 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 
15, 14. 15, what? Yeah, no, what? Entry 15? I'm joking though. I imagine I know the math for like the entry 17. We'll see. Okay, it was. Um, so we take effect, voice attack for one turn, causes supreme damage with the medium intent to stunning. Uh, their passive does um, attack defense plus 80%, plus another attack defense plus 80%. Um, has a chance to do a crit, but it's 17%. Reduces the, it reduces the damage received by 17%. HP is 8% or less. Ooh, Guardian gets all attacks for 8 turns. Not bad. At the start of a turn, plus additional attack defense plus 80%. Another attack defense plus 80%. For 8 turns after receiving an attack, recovers HP with candy. Okay, do the type of blue unit that just recovers HP with candy. They probably have like soul versus soul. Uh, links are, of course, Android Soul, In Fighter, Toughest Nails, Cold Judgment, Soul Support, Courage, Charity Uh The categories are Androids and Joint Forces. Again, they're not bad though, actually. They're actually not that bad. Again, they, when they get an easy aid, they'll probably definitely be better. But for now, they're not that bad. Again, a lot of attack the physical is 80%. It does hurt that, it does hurt that threshold when you have to hit 80% or less with the whole, you know, Android, like with this um, thing, like with this, that thing, with the, with the unit and stuff like that. 80% or less. Isn't that bad though? But again, they're probably not going to be really good for like, like, like Goku and stuff like that. They might actually be though. They might tank really well because again, they get a lot of attack and defense with their passive and stuff like that. They actually don't seem that bad. They actually seem pretty decent and stuff like that. Again, not that bad. Not crazy, but when they get it easy, they're probably like, um, they might be a little bit better though. Again, they don't even really cheat them much. Again, they get crit and a lot of attack and defense with 80%. They're going to tank a lot and they're also going to dish out pretty much a lot of damage with their crit. I've seen a lot of people get their crits. I saw Truth Showcase, they did a lot of crits, and of course, like I said, they did a lot of with their a lot with their attacking defense up. So yeah, not that bad. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You can last your girl about going to pan. They were the best unit though, but again, after they got the easy eight, they were actually pretty decent as well. So yeah, pretty much go ahead, go ahead and end the video there. Like I said, a lot of potential easy A's. Um of course, trunks, trunks right here. Of course, coming to JP, so what you guys think again, this was Inko GS time slot last year. Quickly, really think about that. I can't believe, like, I'm thinking, like, oh, yeah, because right now, of course, we got the Doki Fest teaser. Then, next day, tomorrow, at times of recording, probably on what, um, Wednesday? Because uh, it's today, today for me. Uh, Wednesday, I'll probably get, of course, like I said, the um, info for Trunks and stuff like that at uh, 4 a.m. Then, after that, we'll get the, um, probably, like, of course, like I said, um, his day download info on the 20. Um, 8th. 29th, we'll probably get like the celebration info because last year we did get the Dragon Ball Hero stuff pretty leaked early. And some of that, you know, the Super Saiyan 4 probably ticket. I'm not saying it will happen probably this year, but we get the Super Saiyan 4 ticket. Um, then on top of that, we did get, um, oh, uh, we got the info for again, this campaign and stuff like that. It came out on the 30th, so I'm, I'm assuming it might come out actually on Halloween or might come out on the 30th. One well, of those two days, again, like I said, um, info for tr tr trunks and stuff like that, whatever site unit or whatever, probably tomorrow. Um, or the next day, the next day after that, again, like I said, dad download, um, for you know, some of that, they just go all that stuff, of course. Then after that, again, like I said, celebration info on 29th, um, yeah, then, um, 30th it will come out, maybe on 31st, so probably just go on. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Stay safe. Watch your hands. God bless all of you ever going out. Point where massive to the ability to. So what I gotta think about also for the of course like you hit it again. Very simple, fairly easy. I don't mind. It's actually really good and stuff like that. I want to bring a Doka Fest unit. Some pretty good solid units to go with the whole holiday celebration. A lot of potential easy A's, a lot of easy A's coming. Holy crap, I got more Doka videos to do. Probably like one or two, but again, a lot of easy A's, a lot of new stuff though. So yeah, see you guys there though, okay though. It's out.